collection add to cart with a variant selector. You've been asking for it, and I have delivered. Every player in the e-commerce space has some sort of featured collection where you can dynamically toggle the color variant and see the updated image. The beautiful thing about this section is that you can even use it to render your entire collections page. I made sure to add customizations that give you the ability to decide exactly how you want these displayed. This even works on two multi-variant options like size and color. To add this free section to your store, simply copy and paste the code into a new section file in your theme code editor, and then set up the variant color meta fields, which I'll show you to do in this guide. If you don't code, don't worry, I'll walk you through everything. This code includes a bunch of CSS for styles, HTML, JavaScript, and schema settings for customizations. The secret sauce is using variant meta fields to display the color variants. As always, I appreciate the kind comments and subscriptions. Let's dive in. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that we get our variants set up correctly. So there's only a few things we need to worry about for that. Um, let me just show you the products that I'm working with here. I have these two t-shirts that are basically the same, except uh, this one has multiple variants. It has sizes as well as color. And then the other one just has color. Um, so we wanna make sure that we are handling the use case where there's both, and we have to make sure that we display the correct color on the variant swatches. So to do that, we're gonna use meta fields. And to do that, we can come into settings, custom data, variants, and then you're gonna click here to add a definition, and we're gonna create a meta field, and you're gonna name it variant color. It's very important that the name matches. It has to be variant color, and then you should see custom.variantColor here. You can give it a description if you want. It should be one value, and it should be color. After that, just hit save, and then it should be saved. So then you can come back into your products, and then you can click into one, and find one that has uh, the variants of the color, and you can click into these, and then you will see that there is a variant, um, sorry, yeah, variant color meta field right here. So this is important because this is the hex color that's actually going to be the background color of the little swatch underneath the images. So you wanna make sure that you set these, uh, this color for each color um, variant that you're gonna be using. The other thing I'm gonna point out is that it's important that if you have multivariants, make sure color is the first one. Otherwise, this won't work correctly. So let me show you what I mean. Here's one that has sizes and color. Just make sure you drag color up here to be the first one, okay? And then another thing to watch out for, like just make sure that you add uh, the correct images that you want for each of these different types of variants, okay? Because we're gonna be referencing and updating those images based on them. All right, cool. So uh, now that we have added our variant um, meta fields, we can di uh, dive into the code. Now I'm gonna be developing locally, but I expect most of you won't be doing that, which is totally fine. So I'm gonna run Shopify theme dev. And if you are gonna use uh, the in, in the browser code editor, just come right here to your themes and make sure you duplicate this, don't do it on a live theme, and then um, go into edit code and it will be the exact same thing. So I have this going, I'm gonna open up my preview and also my customizer. All right, sweet. So we're ready to get going with some code. What I'm gonna do first is paste in the styles and kind of go section by section. Um, if you're following along, you can do that. Otherwise, also just feel free to copy and paste the entire file. Um, I'll do my best to talk a little bit about it, but keeping this video shorter if I can. So I'm gonna come into the code here and in this sections directory, I'm gonna click, create a new file and I'm gonna name it. I'll call it collection add to cart variants. And at this very top, I'm just gonna paste everything between these two style tags. I'm not gonna talk too much about it other than um, this is obviously what makes our stuff look good. So I'm gonna call out here, we're gonna be able to set card width. So you can kind of decide how big you want these cards and how many to show up. And then we also have a few styles as well that are for the uh, button. So we can change the background color of the button and um, the hover as well. So nothing too exciting going on here. Uh, next, we will paste in the HTML structure. So right below this style tag, I'm gonna come in and paste this. Now there's a lot going on here. Um, but all you really need to know is this container is kind of the whole section, and then we have this product grid. And this is kind of where the magic starts happening, where we start looping through the products, okay? And you'll see we have a, a limit here, which is gonna be a setting so that we can actually uh, decide how many we want to show up, um, because maybe in some pages you want like a ton, and then if you just want like the featured, maybe you only want like three or four or something like that. So that's cool. Um, we're This is getting into like some more complex liquid stuff, so I won't go into it too much, but we are just grabbing the color variants. Um, we're setting the background image. Um, 
we're making sure that it links to the product page. And then we also have the color variant and then the other, if there is other variants as well, like size, those would be um, displayed here. And then we have the price and the add to cart button itself. So this is our liquid HTML structure. So everything looks good there. Now we're gonna add our JavaScript. Right underneath this div, I will paste in and everything needs to be encapsulated between these script tags. And normally I would move these and some of these things into their own files. Like this script could definitely go in its own asset um, file and same with the CSS. But because I know most of you guys aren't really developers, you're just kind of copy and pasting on make this as easy as possible. So I will do my best to walk through. This is a lot of code, so it's not going to be um, crystal clear here. But what we're doing is we're waiting for the page to load, and then we do uh, a couple of things. We init our color options to make sure the color variants we treat differently, right, because we have that meta field so we can have the background set. Um, and then we init any other, if there is other um, variant options, and then we have the add to cart set up so that we can make sure we actually add it to cart. This is a find variant ID. This is basically a function that we're using to make sure we're finding the right variant. So we add the correct thing to the cart. Um, not too much to talk about here without going into too much detail, but essentially these init functions are just setting up listeners so that we can respond to when the user clicks on the different variants and we make sure that we're updating those correctly. Um, and then of course the add to cart, which actually hands handles that aspect of it. And then you'll see that we call this update cart count. This is important because the way I have this set up is that it's gonna to navigate to the cart page. Some of you guys might wanna like open up your slide out drawer or however you wanna do that. The reason I didn't include that in this video is because that's gonna vary greatly depending on which theme you're using. So I can't really tell you how to do that. That's up to your theme. Sometimes it's uh, there's like a event listener that you can dispatch an event for, um, but you are gonna to have to handle that on a use case uh, by use case basis, but this is kind of a catch-all to navigate to the collections page. Um, but if you were going to change that logic, you could do it right here. Um, cool. So right after this script, what we're going to do next is add our schema settings. Right below the script, I will paste in and everything should be between the schema and end schema tags. So these always look funky, I know. It's hard to understand if you're not familiar with the schema, but all of this is just going to give us those customizable settings in the theme editor so that we can tweak things however we want without diving in the code. So if I save this, I should be able to uh, open this in the theme editor. You'll see I have a name and then there should also be a presets here. Cool collection add to C. So that's what it's called. Now, if I come back to my theme editor, I'm going to refresh this and I should be able to add this new section. All right, collection add to cart. There it is. So um, there's a couple things I want to do here. The first, we have to actually pick uh, what collection we want to show, right? So I have one called uh, hydrogen. And then you also see I have this products to show and you can pick as many or as little as you want. So I think like three or four probably makes sense. Um, I'm going to do four. Cool. Let's do that. And then I'm going to, I'm fine. I guess just for the heck of it, I'll change the background color to be something cool on hover. Um, yeah, that's kind of cool. And then you can do this click or hover. I guess I'll do hover. And then you can also adjust the card width. So like how it, you're going to want to use this, right? If you want them to like appear bigger, if you want them to appear smaller, whatever. Um, I think I'll just keep it at, I'll do 250. All right, cool. Uh, so I'm going to save this and then I will come back and refresh my preview. Oh, and I think I'm going to move this right there. and I'm going to hide that for now, just so it's easier to see. Okay, cool. So if I refresh, awesome. We can see it is all here. So, all right, let's test this out a little bit. So if I do gray, um, remember it's hover, so I'm not clicking. This is good. So I'm just hovering and it's changing the image. You also see that it's changing the price, which is what I wanted. So if I test this out and add white, cool. And it looks like I already had something in my cart, but you can see right here, color white was added. And then let's try a harder one. So this is the other t-shirt, right? That has the sizes and the colors. I'm gonna choose, let's say white. And then this is this is not hover. Um, based on what I saw on other sites, you always click this one. So I'm gonna click uh, medium. So it should be gray, medium. Excellent. So that is working as we would hope. And then we have, this one doesn't have a different image. Like it doesn't have a different image for each variant. So it, you'll see it's just changing um, the variant, but not changing the image, which is what we want. So let's make sure that still works. And we pick green. Excellent. That is correct as well. 
And lastly, this one does not have colors. It only has um, the sizes. So let me make sure that that works. Cool, okay, yep, and large worked. So that is what we want. All right, everything looks good here. So that is what we wanted. Now I'm also gonna show you how you can set this up for your uh, collections page. To do that, just come here to the theme editor, come to collections, default collection. And then you're gonna add this same section here but you're gonna do a couple things differently. So um, first off, I'm going to connect this like this. I'm gonna, you, you click this little icon here and then you do this. And what that's gonna do is it's going to dynamically use whatever collection is on the page. Um, Cause we don't wanna hard code that, right? Cause like if you have different collections, it's obviously gonna be different products and stuff. I'm also gonna change this so that I can change, uh, show as many as I possibly can. You can update that if you want. Um, I'm okay with this the way it is, so I will also come back here. I'm going to move this right below the banner, and I'm going to hide that because that's kind of the old one. All right, cool. So I'll save that, and if I come back here, uh, now I should be able to go to Collections, and sweet. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. You can see we have the Add to Cart. It's not showing variants for things that don't have variants, um, but everything else that does, it is in fact showing. So this is what we wanted. I'll give it a quick test here. I'll do a white, large t-shirt, sure. Excellent, and it does in fact show a white, large t-shirt. So this is working as we had hoped. So I hope that this has been helpful and this is what uh, you have been looking for. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. I really appreciate it, the subscriptions. Thank you so much. And uh, obviously let me know if there's other sections that you wanna see that would be valuable to your store. I'll see you next time, thanks.